Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Day Classic, and we're back at it again with another Christmas special. Wow, it's nice to see you in the Christmas spirit, Gorilla. What's the big Christmas plan? Actually, I don't know. I thought I would have come up with something by now. Stop for crying out loud, Gorilla. I can't believe you don't have a plan. Oh, calm down, Jess. I'm sure I can come up with an idea real quick. Hmm. I got it! Okay, what are we reviewing? I don't know. But... I don't know yet, but I know where I'm gonna look. Oh yeah? Where's that? Well, the good book, of course. A good book? Like a John Grisham novel? John Gr... It's the Bible, stupid! Oh yeah, okay. But I still don't know how you're gonna get any ideas there. Let's see, there's gotta be something here. Oh, look, there's a part right here about Christmas gifts. They had opened their treasures. They presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I only know what one of those things is, and I'm pretty sure we don't have any of them. Well, Jess, that may be true, but I'm pretty sure I can come up with something good. Yeah, okay, good luck. Come on, Jess, give me a chance. All right, so first we have gold, right? Well, how about Goldberg? Goldberg? Yeah, the masters of the WWE Universe, Goldberg. That's just reaching. Well, get into the Christmas spirit, Jess, because it's masters of the WWE Universe, Goldberg by Mattel. Raz Holly, hit the music! In 2020, Mattel launched the Masters of the Universe Origins line, a retro-inspired take on the original Masters line with updated articulation has been a pretty big hit with fans. At the same time, Mattel also released Masters of the WWE Universe, a Masters-inspired line featuring WWE wrestlers from the past and present in the style of the Masters of the Universe Origins line. While some figures have been easily found, due to shipping issues, scalpers, and whatever else, a lot of these figures have been difficult, if not impossible, to catch at retail. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't even know about the WWE line, because I've only ever seen them at retail a couple of times, personally. Anyway, because I need something with gold, we're taking a look at Goldberg from Masters of the WWE Universe. Bill Goldberg, if you didn't know, is a former NFL washout who's had multiple micro-runs as a professional wrestler slash minor celebrity. He's pretty popular in the world of pro wrestling, though. He's a former WCW champion and had a, let's say, less than stellar run in the WWE in the early aughts. Despite that, he's still a big enough star to garner him a high-paid part-time gig with the WWE where he occasionally comes in for a match or two before disappearing again for months or even years. The Masters of the WWE line has utilized a lot of older wrestlers from the past, so it makes sense that old Bill would show up eventually. Anyway, let's take a look at Masters of the WWE Universe Goldberg by Mattel. Okay, Masters of the WWE Universe, Goldberg, Heroic Human Jackhammer, okay, um, I remember there being a, uh, genetic jackhammer. But, uh, the human jackhammer, okay, wh whatever, it's, a uh, highly articulated for power posing, of course, this is, uh, Mattel's sort of uh, subline of Masters of the Universe Origins. We have the WWE Superstars, present and past, as they would appear in a alternate Masters of the Universe universe. <laughs> so we have the, uh, the box. Um, a little different uh, sort of color setup here. We've got kind of a ring in the background. There is a ring that does look a lot like Castle Gray Skull. Raz Holly has that. I'll go ahead and link his video in the description if you want to check out. I'm going to do a more thorough review of the Masters of the WWE Universe figures later on. But for now, we got gold, so we got Goldberg. 
and uh, and here he is, Goldberg, with his fucking shoulder pads, and uh, he, he's a jackhammer man, and whatever. Let's turn this box around. Um, we have some art on the background of uh, Goldberg in his little outfit. It says, many superstars of WWE Turnia have tried to take down the hero they call Goldberg, but all have fallen. There's only one question for future challengers. Who's next? <laughs> Arm with axe, twist into powerful battle positions. You can collect them all, each sold separately, subject to availability. <laughs> you can say that again. In this series, we've got Goldberg, we've got Kane, we've got Stephanie McMahon, and we've got the ultimate warrior. Um, <laughs> I would not be surprised if you've never seen these in the stores. They do tend to go fast like they're... Um, Masters of the Universe counterparts, um, they do they do tend to get snapped up pretty quickly uh, due to distribution problems, scalpers, or what have you. And uh, for the scalper argument, you can just take a look on eBay, search for these fucking things, and uh, these things sell for about 15 bucks at retail. Um, they go for uh, twice that, three times that, four times that online. So let's get this goddamn thing out of the box and see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so it's open, it's kind of open. I got this thing open finally, and uh, let's take a look first. It does come with a, uh, a two-page comic book introducing Goldberg, so the WWE figures actually come with individual comic books. Um, they're like a, you know, it's a splash page and a single page introducing the guy. Um, not too shabby. At least it's one for one. Um, I'm, I'm assuming this is the one that comes with Goldberg. And then we have something that comes with all the other individual figures. Isn't that fucking awesome? Um, so there's that. And the art's pretty cool looking too. All right, so let's get that back to what we talk about every single goddamn episode, the packaging. Um, so you've got the you've got the card back, you've got the front bubble, you've got an inside bubble, and not, and not only that, you've got a you've got little twist ties, or not twist ties, but little tags um, going around the feet here. Um, maybe there's something around the arms, little yeah, little clear rubber bands around the arms. Um, another rubber band uh, tied around the, the the stuff, which I'm sure is all bent up because it's that soft plastic, and it's been sitting under a fucking rubber band. There's no way to get this thing out by hand if you don't have uh, a pair of little scissors or something on you. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it seems to be that like you can break the figure without even trying. You can break the figure just trying to get it out of the fucking box. And my whole point is this. These things are made for collectors. Let's not fucking screw around here. These things are made for collectors. They make them in short numbers. They sell them in short numbers. Why the fuck else wouldn't I see them out in the out in the wild? Collectors are the ones that are buying these goddamn things. They're a special little gimmick. You know, who else gives a shit about the Masters of the Universe? Little kids don't care about Masters of the Universe. And, and according to the fucking television ratings, little kids don't care about the WWE. So it's all collectors buying this stuff. So, the people are, they're making these for collectors. Why don't you just put them in fucking collectors' boxes? Resealable boxes. So that we can take the figure out, we can look at their accessories, because otherwise they're just hidden, hidden behind the figure. And if you just leave it in the box forever, then you're never gonna be able to get this thing out and see what it looks like, or, or how he can pose it, or, or what its fucking accessories look like on the actual figure, unless you're buying multiples of them, which you probably shouldn't be doing anyway. So they should just put these all these things, put the extra couple bucks in to, to you, know, you know with all the money they spend putting in this fucking packaging and having them strapped in there, they could use that money and uh, make collectors boxes so we could take the figure out. When we're done with it, you put it back in and you can still display the artwork and all that other good shit. Okay, so finally, with all the trash and all the bull crap out of the way, here he is. It's uh, Goldberg from WWE Masters of the WWE Universe, whatever the fuck it is. Um, he has his little uh, axe. Um, it looks like there were supposed to be some pieces cut out of it, but they're just, they're not, not completely cut out. Um, same thing on the other side. 
Um, it's this weird, like, nowadays they don't really do the, uh, the, the plating thing anymore, the, uh, the, the, the foil plating or whatever the fuck it's called, where they make things metallic. They put, like, a chrome finish on it. They don't do that anymore. So when they want go to make something metallic, um, it ends up looking like this. It looks okay, um, but it doesn't look as cool as this would have had it been, you know, released back in the 1980s. I don't know if it, like, you know, it... It, it gave us all cancer, or um, you know, it's, it's somehow illegal now, um, or it's or it's really expensive. But uh, yeah, I wish um, we could get better metallic shit on our uh, on our figures and stuff nowadays. Because yeah, this is a uh, especially when you've got so much of it that's supposed to be made of metal. It just looks kind of sad. Um, but yeah, it's made out of real soft plastic. Um, the the helmet itself was all bent out of shape. Um, when I bought it out, got it out of the bag that was behind him because it was getting squished by a fucking rubber band. Um, I'm glad that the, uh, you know, this wasn't long enough to be bent out of shape. Um, I, I believe all this stuff is removable. Yeah, you could pop this off. I think there's some, yeah, you could pop it off. And, uh, yeah, and you'll, you can see him, like, just basically in his wrestling gear with the exception of these fucking things. He just looks like, uh, Goldberg, basically. Um, you take off the extra horse crap and accoutrement um you can you can do that um i know that the wwe does plan on making more of these style figures or making more masters of the universe style figures but they've kind of taken out the whole sort of masters of the universe theme and are just basically just gonna make make the wrestlers in this 5.5 fucking inch scale uh, figure, uh, the, the squatty Masters of the Universe origin style with all the articulation and stuff. Um, and f further, uh, just just another line, another peg for WWE figures in the in the stores. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to see them when they release. Who knows? They might have been released all, already. I never fucking see these things in the, in the stores. If only by chance I'm fucking in there every once in a while and I do see one, um, yeah, I always do pick them up because I don't give a shit about Goldberg. I don't care about fucking Goldberg. I don't own any other Goldberg figures. The only reason I own this one is because it was like, holy crap, it's a WWE fucking Masters of the WWE Universe figure. And I never see these things out in fucking public, so I had to pick it up. And here he is. It's, uh, it's, and it's okay. These things are all right. Like, um, I'm going to go into a further review about these things. They do all the same poses as He Man and shit. They're in the same scale as your Masters of the Universe figures, and you know that these figures are modular, so you can switch the pieces out and the parts, and uh, everybody can wear everybody else's stuff. So even if you don't care about a particular figure like Goldberg, you can buy this, and you can put all this gear on on He-Man or something, or make yourself uh, a fucking custom figure. And, uh, and and speaking of which, get this out of the way. Um, I made myself uh, a custom. Um, Raz Holly sent me this Triple H, and uh, I had an extra He-Man lying around since there are so many of them on the pegs. I went and I grabbed another one, and I used the uh, the old He-Man uh, chest plate thing here. Um, I noticed because he's got the uh, the the the, the uh, Templar cross on his gear, he uses that. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to use the He-Man Templar cross there and uh, put that on Triple H, paint it black and silver. Um, yeah, got a better silver fucking look than this thing, doesn't it, doesn't it? Um, also did just a little little easy paint job on the on the sword here. So it's uh, it's uh, H H He Man, <laughs> Triple H He Man. Uh, <laughs> so I thought, you know, instead of making a Triple H Skeletor, which this one was, he, he was the one that came with the ring and he had the big, um, big claw hands for some reason. Um, this one, uh, yeah, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to make him a, a He-Man style character and gave him the, the, the chest piece and uh, painted up the sword and the shield and everything like that. And, uh, and so, yeah. And it goes better with the uh, with the, the the Stephanie McMahon figure, and uh, yeah, this is my custom Triple H, a little bonus figure here on uh, on the Goldberg episode. At the end of the day, these uh, Masters of the WWE Universe figures are pretty cool if you can find them at retail. I just wish, and this is, this is becoming like I'm a broken record here, I wish that more people were able to find these at retail and be able to pay retail price for these because for retail price, they're actually pretty fucking cool.
Well, that's Masters of the WWE Universe Goldberg. What did you guys think of this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. This has got to be the stupidest idea I've ever seen for a Christmas special yet, Gorilla. Well, it ain't over yet, Jess. We'll give it another try next week. Bah humbug. That's the spirit, Jess. Raz Holly, hit the music!